ちょっと待てよ。あんた、バスケやってて楽しいか Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about fun. So, within the language learning community, it's pretty much already considered common sense that you have to find some way to make the language learning process fun if you really want to succeed. I mean, the sheer number of hours that it really takes to get proficient in a language is just so large that there's no way you're going to make it through if you're suffering the whole time. The only problem is, usually the kind of people who set out to acquire a foreign language are the kind of people who are motivated by goals, not fun. I know because I'm one of them. These are the kinds of people who like to make plans and schedules. So, once they hear about how powerful this fun method of learning is, They write down have fun in their schedule for that day, only to realize that having fun can actually be quite a difficult task. Many people just give up, saying they're not good enough at the language to have fun in it. They then go back to what Katz calls Sparta methods, eventually leading them to give up learning language altogether. Now, I think the whole cause of this negative cycle is that we don't really know what fun is. We have this vague idea in our mind of sitting down on the couch, relaxing, and watching TV shows, but when we try this with our L2, we find it's almost more boring than reading textbooks. But of course it is. When we watch something in our native language, for the most part we're enjoying the story. But since we can't follow the story in our L2, we're left with nothing. And nothing is boring. Instead, let's think about Pokemon or World of Warcraft. In Pokemon, every time you run into a wild Pokemon in the grass, you go, oh fuck. And it's even worse when you run into a trainer. And when you need to level up, you occasionally do something called grinding, which is pretty much the definition of boring. But people still play Pokemon for hours on end. And love it. It's obviously fun. Now, I think that's because this Pokemon type of fun is a process, one which necessarily involves challenges and long patches of boringness. The boringness makes the fun parts fun. All those little caves in Pokemon are a bitch, but once you finally make it out to the other end, you get a little dopamine boost that keeps you going. This is what Katz means when he talks about small victories and winnable games. So, all you need to do to have fun in your L2 is throw away this TV watching mindset and adopt the Pokemon mindset. Who gives a fuck about what's going on in the story? Just make a little game out of how many individual words you can pick out. Enjoy Anki reps the same way you would enjoy grinding in an RPG, by gaining satisfaction from the knowledge that you're getting stronger with each minute that passes. Then, when you go and watch that episode one more time, enjoy your dopamine boost when you finally realize that that was the word that's written with that kanji. Enjoy the process of getting better, and embrace the patches of boringness. Two months ago, I started studying Mandarin Chinese. And of course, I still suck ass. For the most part, I understand nothing. But somehow, I still enjoy watching shows in Chinese more than I do watching shows in Japanese. In Japanese, I already understand everything, so there's nothing but the story to entertain me. Which sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. But in Chinese, it doesn't matter how boring the show is, because I end up getting excited hearing that new word I learned with Anki that morning, and overall get a sense of satisfaction knowing my Chinese power level is slowly but surely increasing by the minute. When I get tired of concentrating, I just sit back and enjoy the musicality and beauty of the language. In the end, I'm still just sitting there watching TV, but it's the mindset that makes it fun. Minna de Wai Wai de Kiriba Kachimakeva do de Moit de Cotone. Huh? Son now can I do? Teo no it a do sir no sa. Huh? Lacuni are not a imi gachiga. Castamini tokoton lensu ste, scosi de mo umakunate. Skinakotoni bottosru. Sorega tanosimut de cotodaro.